Hello and welcome to my video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. So uh, one of the things I want to start with is to say that my uh, new course, uh, Your Sketchbook Journey, is now uh, available. Uh, I launched it uh, firstly to pre-subscribers at the weekend and now it's generally available. And there's a discount on it, so I will put into the notes uh, the link um, and also the discount code, which is early bird 10. And you need to use that to get the discount. And it's only for a short period of time. So only it's just over a week or so. So um, don't um, delay if you're interested in that course. So this course, Your Sketchbook Journey, it's for you really. If you would like to learn more about developing your sketchbook practice, you might already have a sketchback practice, but even if you don't, it's still suitable. But it's really to help you explore and develop uh, your approaches uh, to uh, your subject matter using a range of different expressive, uh, exploratory, uh, experimental techniques. So it's sort of it's, it's, it's all about having fun with your sketchbook, but actually really broadening out to really uh, start using lots of different approaches in the course. I use one of my live subjects, which is uh, wild flora, to show how I develop all these studies. And I work in black and white, I work in colour, I work with collage, and this whole range of studies. I also bring that back into the studio, where I show how I use scrapbooking and journaling to develop my understanding of the subject. And I also share how I develop a series of, of small sketchbooks by using uh, sheets of mark making that I develop out in the landscape, looking at my subject matter, bringing that back and folding it and creating these sketchbooks. And what that's really helpful for is helping you to ab abstract the subject matter and also to think about the composition. And then at the end of this course, with all of these different exciting uh, approaches that we take, uh, of, of in 25 lessons, by the way, in four different sections. So quite a, a, a range of things for you to get your teeth into. At the end of it all, I do a, a, a review of what we've done so that after the course, there's some sense you will end up with um, having identifying what you want to continue with so that instead of the course just being at an end and that's it, you will be able to continue your explorations once the course finishes. So anyway, that's my new course, uh, Your Sketchbook Journey. If you go on the link that I share in the notes, it will give you a, a lot of information on the course, how it's broken down, a list of all of the different lessons, uh, some questions and answers and so on. So there's a lot there before you need to click the, 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 the button to, to, uh, to pay for the course. Anyway, so that's one thing. The other thing is I will also put the link to my newsletter in case you're not subscribed to that, my general newsletter, because I will be sending my uh, last one of 2022 out uh, at the end of the week or so uh, and uh, following some great feedback. So thank you for the feedback. So I did talk about it on here. I will be sharing um, just a couple of my Constantinas uh, that were the basis of some of my work for the uh, Landscape Inside Out exhibition. I will be sharing a couple of those for sale uh, and they're just behind me. So uh, there's the uh, Summer Moors or Heather Moors and Winter Moors, just so that you know. So anyway, so we come on to uh, today's video and actually I'm going to talk and share something that is very different, um, but I think it's very appropriate at this point in time actually uh, because if you've been following me for a while you'll know that uh, this year has um, had a lot of ups and downs and I think that's sort of that's life I'm sure we all have that um, there's been difficulties but also very fortunate things um, and it's got me really thinking about making the most of this uh, journey of ours through life and not, but kind of maybe living in the moment a little bit more. And there's something that's been on my uh, bucket list for a very long time. And I remember when we first went into lockdown in 2020, I created this mood board of aspirations and dreams and desires. And in the middle of this mood board was a camper, a camper van. 
And if you know that my subject area is landscape and you know that I love to uh, to work in my sketchbooks and work out in the landscape, then it's probably not a surprise that I would want to do such a thing so that I can go out there and explore and take the camper with me to go to different places and for on a, you know, sort of to a wider area than just my immediate locality. So there is the thing. As of uh, <clears throat> last week, just as I was about to hit uh, share on my uh, uh, new course, uh, I thought I have to make something of this and I have to extend this um, approaches that are these approaches that I'm taking. So I took a day trip, a day trip down south uh, where I uh, found myself uh, a camper uh, that I can use as a general. I couldn't have more than one vehicle. That wouldn't be possible, feasible for me. I have to have it as uh, a general vehicle. So anyway, I am going to share with you uh, probably a short video uh, just uh, where I'm up to with that. And um, it's, just, it's just the very first time I've actually shared this with anybody outside my immediate circle of friends and family, um, what I'm up to. So uh, it's kind of with great excitement, really, that I share this with you today. And I hope you enjoy the very small little snippets. As I was going about, I thought I wanted to record it so I could share it with you. And uh, I'll come back on at the end, uh, maybe just with a voiceover, but just to, uh, to sort of pull it all together. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. Good morning. So here we go. And as you might be able to see, I am about to leave in the car and going on a really exciting trip today to uh, see a vehicle. So you might think, what on the earth is she on about now? Well, there we are. Um, all will be revealed. Six, so it must be towards the end. Yeah. yeah, this is odd 10, 12, 14. So it must be beyond those tree where those trees are, I guess. So this is what I'm looking at. This is so exciting. So this is a Nissan and it's uh, a two berth camper and it's got really nice fittings really nice it's got uh, gas and water and a bed as you'd expect and it's got quite a nice and it's got a, a swivel seat so that you can face it to the middle and it's got a pop-up top this is what this is pop-up top really really nice and this is a white one a silver one over there so the idea is that um, instead of having a car I have a van so that I can uh, go on my travels with my art and uh, draw and paint until my heart's content in different parts of the country and elsewhere Okay, so I've taken this for a test drive. I've now ordered my interiors and as of early next year, I'm going to be the proud owner of one of these lovely little Nissan vehicles, which is a Serena from Japan. So my goodness, what an exciting day that was. And I thought I would end with this very relevant quote. We travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. 
And from next year, I will be sharing here on my channel my adventures uh, with my van uh, that I will go out in with my Greyhound Lexi and I will also, also be sharing obviously the artwork that goes with that and information about the places I go to uh, and so on. So thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.